Lights, camera, action. Cue the host. We are Ann Arbor Stock Station, 1290 WLBY. It is the Lucy Ann Lance Show. And today you are going to meet the Boober Tuber. No, Boober Tuber. <laughs> yeah. Man. <laughs> I don't know what's more interesting. The name of the company, Boober Tour, or the backstory of Kevin Spangler. Nice to have you with us here on 1290 WLBY. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you have to describe for our radio audience what you're wearing today. Oh, I'm wearing a 70s outfit, turquoise, a lot of sparkle. I got a pink wig and some, and some green sunglasses on. <laughs> Boober love, Tours. I love the pink wig. I found out about you and your business, which is a pedicab business, because I saw on Facebook my friend Bruce Geffen, who's a teacher at Clegg and uh, here in high school classmate of mine, uh, that he was pedaling for you. Now, you have to know that he's an Ironman athlete. This guy's incredible. Oh, yeah. So he's always cycling. He's always uh, swimming. He's always doing everything. Yeah. Very uh, athletic. So when I saw him on there pedaling with these two people behind him sitting in the cab, I thought, what's going on here? <laughs> it turns out that Boober Tours is your creation. Uh-huh. And it really was born out of... I don't know how to describe it. Struggle, born out of struggle, and I just basically had no more chances in life. Uh, I was basically addicted to drugs and alcohol for 15 years. Uh, this last time I went to jail, I was looking at some prison time for resisting arrest, and uh, I was just found out at that time that I was getting at, ready to have a kid. So I did a lot of praying and uh, praying for everybody in my case, and they ended up giving me six months. And that was a very lenient sentence for resisting arrest, so I made a commitment to never get in trouble again so I could be a father to my son. And uh, while I was in jail those six months, I made a plan for my life. And when I got out of jail, I lived in the homeless shelter. Uh, I saved up all my money working four jobs and uh, wanted to do a pedicab business while I was in jail. And I finally saved up enough, which is 4800 to buy a cab. And uh, that's how it started. And uh, Boober Tours... I bet that's how it star started, and I just kept on saving up my money and putting all the money back into the company, and now we have 14 pedicabs. 14? Yep. Why am I just now hearing about this then? <laughs> oh, it's just, it's, grow it's growing so where, quickly. Where are you doing this? In Ann Arbor, Michigan. So or Just the downtown area. We do go out to the hotels if people are, we, it's kind of a donation base. People pay what they, people pay what they think the ride's worth. But if people want to go to the hotels, it's more of like an entertainment thing. It takes like 30 minutes to get to the hotel, but it's a negotiated donation at it. Now, you've got your pedicab outside our studios here. Did you bicycle yeah, in today? Yeah, I bicycled from, from uh, downtown. From downtown you did. Oh, you have a nice storage unit right on 4th, or not, it's an actual warehouse on 4th Avenue. How did you grow this business to what it is today when you had so many struggles early on? Basically, over the last couple of years, I've been living frugal and trying to start businesses because if, when you have a criminal record, it, people don't want to hire you because they just think that you're not, if you have a criminal record, that you're not a good person. So I've been having trouble uh, getting jobs. So I've always said, oh, I have to, if I want to make money, I have to do it on my own. So I've started creating my own businesses. But this, this one is, I always had like an illegal business involved in the medical marijuana industry. Uh, if, you, if you work hard, you can't follow the rules of the medical uh, medical marijuana industry. But uh, now that I have a son, I can't make any poor decisions. So I had to figure out what do I do to be able to not get in trouble again. And uh, this is pedicab. I don't have a driver's license. So I, I decided to do this, and it's taken off, and it, something really needed by uh, Ann Arbor. Kevin, there are two things I heard there. One is, first of all, and I, this is what I thought from the very beginning when you mentioned your son, he saved your life. Oh, yeah. He really did. How, old, sure. how old is he He's now? 17 or 18 months now. Oh. His name's Romando. Oh, sweet. The other thing I thought, you said something very interesting about the medical marijuana industry. Mm -hmm. did, did I hear you correctly that you said if you want to make it big in that, you have to... Well, I was I was doing it above and beyond the That's what the I'm trying limits. to say. There, there's limits that you're doing, and uh, you can't follow the law to... Or I couldn't follow law because I worked too hard and I was over limits all the time. So are you saying that you can't make that much money if oh, you, you are following legally? Uh, you can you make mo you can make money, but I, if you're doing it, if you're managing everything properly, and I wasn't managing everything properly because uh, you being actually being a felon, I could only have two and a half ounces at a time, 
And it's if you're a hard worker, you're having more than that at any given time. I see what you're saying. So have you given all of that up? I've given all of it up. And you're you're making money now through this business. Through this business and, and creating second chance jobs for people in recovery. So you're hiring people who Yes. So people in my same situation who don't have a driver's license or have a criminal record or even people don't want to have a nine to five job. I have 30 to 40 people working for me, and it's basically on a, on a, I do a call list. So you could call me, you can say you're going to be there at 6.30, but you can call me at 6 o'clock and be like, I'm not coming in. And I don't even need an excuse. All I just said, just not coming in, so I know to fill another, to call another person to fill a bike. You, you, so it's completely free. It's, it's, I'm trying to create freedom with this. You business. know, you know the life. You know what people struggle. Yeah. Are everybody has different issues that they're working with, and if they need to take a whole week off, that's fine with me. <laughs> so and then some people just work. You know, the last three days a month, try to save up enough money to finish paying their rent. So I'm well, open to having any type of person working for the company. Where did the name Boober Tour come from? Basically, it, Boober Tours comes from the 1980 puppet show called Fraggle Rock. There was a uh, Boober Fraggle. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, the, he's a uh, seafoam green. He's the color of uh, uh, he's basically the same color of my first pedicab. And then, uh, if you look up urban slang on the internet, Boober it means best boyfriend in the world. <laughs> I didn't know that either. So it's, I looked at the definition of what uh, boober meant, and it was like my personality, how I treat my girlfriend, but Aww. actually how I treat everyone, is that's my personality. Where did you grow up? In Manchester, Michigan. At what point did your life turn where you got into trouble? Well, I, when I went into the military is when I started, uh, basically I had like a strict childhood, never really got in trouble. Uh, never did anything wrong. I was taking medications for attention deficit disorder, but it wasn't until I got into the military I quit taking the medications, and then uh, I couldn't focus properly, and then basically just getting in with the wrong crowd and uh, started using drugs. And that's really, uh, that's really what, it's not the military's fault. It's completely my fault I made. If you realize that it's us that make the decisions and if our life is bad, it's not anybody else's fault. It's our fault because we're the only person that make decisions for ourselves. And I started learning this, but I still had to go through struggles. And, and finally, I've uh, learned instead of making poor decisions that keep on putting me in jail, I need to make uh, positive decisions to, uh, basically to structure my future in a positive way. Everyone should take ownership of their lives the way you have, Kevin. That is remarkable. Talking with Kevin Spangler, he is the owner of Boober Tours, and you're going to see him around town. Incredible guy. Um, <laughs> I like your zest for life oh, yeah. with this uh, pink Afro wig on and all this 70s gear. Oh, yeah. Uh, you you got to have fun out there. You, you are fun. So where do you want to take your business? Where do you think you can, can take this? Well, I'm working on uh, trying to get an app developed because I'm trying to uh, have a rideshare app that releases cars, pedal pubs, party buses, and pedicabs on demand. Mm -hmm. Sort of like an entertainment transportation, uh, social transportation app. So someone could use the app to call you to get Yeah, they'll be able to just hit a button similar to other rideshare companies. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, where I want to go with that is I want to kind of put, it'll be kind of like you're hooked up with the same drivers every single time. It's not like a new driver. Uh, and then also it's going to be where people are going to be able to type comments and uh, it's going to be like a social media mix between uh, also transportation. Do you have someone working on that for you yet? I'm try I have people that are working on it, but I'm trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm not sure where, I, where I'm going with that right now because it's, it's a taking a little bit longer than I anticipated. In, in the meantime, and how... And the, the cost of it is more than you would think. And, and in the meantime, how do people contact you? If Basically, they're... I just have business cards I hand out thousands and thousands of business cards. So you have a phone number people can I call. I have a phone number. What is that number? 734-686-2087. Mm -hmm. 686-2087. If you want one of these Boober Tours uh, rides on the pedicab, pretty the, cool. The best way to do it is basically you just search Boober Tours on the internet and my number will pop up. All right. And a lot, that's one of, been a, one of my biggest people coming to the business is right off the internet. How many pedicabs do you have now? I have 14, and 12 of them are on the road. All right, and you you said these cost $4,800 each. 4,800 if you're buying them brand new. Wow. I started buying I started buying used after the first two because I just got in the business and I didn't know where to get a used pedicab, and uh, finally was able to figure out how to get used pedicabs and used averages like 2,500 a piece. Okay, and then you said you have how many people working for you? 
I have like between 30 and 40 people on the, on the call list just because I have it structured different than like if you were to have people on the schedule. Mm -hmm. I just have a lot of people, you know, sometimes people work one day a week or some, right. I have some people working seven days a week because they love it so much. And are they making minimum wage or how they're are They're making, a, they're basically, we're working on donations. The okay. way I structured it is similar to the, I don't know if you heard of Ground Cover News. Yes. Ground Cover News is a homeless newspaper that helps uh, homeless in transition and maintain housing. And that's where I start when I was homeless uh, last year. I started selling that newspaper, one of my four jobs to save up to buy the pedicab. But uh, basically, the newspaper, I see the, basically, I was selling the newspaper. And then, um, you what were was on, your question you, you, again? Were on, you were on the street selling the newspaper, Ground Cover News. Yes. And we've had them in here before. Remarkable program. Oh, yeah. It really is. And it gives them biz their own businesses. So you started there, I hadn't realized that, and then you were able to build up your business through through that. So, yeah, all so, that, that so was, it works through donations. So Yeah, that's words, how I structured the business is uh, if I call if I call uh, Boober Tours, yeah. I uh, I would like to take pedicab ride ar around downtown Ann Arbor. So you leave it up to me to so pay whatever you think the ride's worth and all the donations go back into the company and I kinda have it where the Drivers, they keep 70% of the tips and it's capped out at $50. So if they make $300 on a busy night, they only have to pay $50. And it's the community that supports our wages instead of me actually having to pay them out. And is it all cash or can people use their credit we card? We credit card, Venmo, okay. Bitcoin, any type of payment. We'll accept any type of payment, even hugs. <laughs> So you. we try to give as many free rides out as possible because uh, just sharing it, I believe just sitting in the back of the cab actually heals people. And when you get, when they get in the cab, I think all all your problems melt away and you're just happy by the end of the, way, end of the day. I'm happy just sitting here with you today. <laughs> so, and I try to structure the ride at getting, uh, putting people in positive mind states. I ask them questions, what they're grateful for today. What are the, Try to get them talking about what their goals are, what they're working at. And uh, I don't, those things are important to me, and that's what keeps me happy today. And I, I try to share. I try to share. I try to help people think. I don't. I try to get people in a positive mind state, and that's just. It just makes me happy to see people happy. I can't imagine how many people just seeing you coming down the road with your hair oh, yeah. and your outfit. Uh, put a smile on. Their oh, face. It definitely. <laughs> yeah, like it. Just me. People smiling. When you make people smile, every it just the smile spreads. And. Uh, <laughs> That's when I started this business. I suffer from depression, and I don't suffer from depression anymore because everybody smiles around me. <laughs> and uh, I think uh, if we, the more people we get on the road making people smile, it's just gonna, it's just gonna spread. How many years have you been doing this now? I've been doing it since March 6th last year, so about a year and a half. And already built up his business in a very big way. You're an inspiration to others. Uh, the fact that you were able to come through all of your struggles and realize your potential and actually go for your dream is yeah. remarkable. Congratulations. Oh, it's been fun. Thank you. Thank you. Kevin Spangler with Boober Tours. Boober, Boober Tours, the only way. <laughs> the only way. That's his slogan. Thanks, Kevin. Thank a lot you. of fun. My Thursday just got a lot better. And we've got more coming up on the Lucy Ann Land Show, Ann Arbor's Talk Station, 1290 WLBY.